How are you doing? So today's video we're going to be talking about a T-junction controlled by traffic lights and the mistakes I normally see people make here. All right, Make sure you stay to the end of the video to see the worst possible mistake you could make at a junction like this. So we're going to start with turning left first because it's a little bit easier to explain. So the main mistakes I normally see people make here is they go way too slow when they get the green light. Usually people, they'll creep up and they'll be looking, re looking right and left and they'll be going really slow and they come to a near stop here. That's all well and good if it's not controlled by traffic lights. But if it is controlled by traffic lights, the tester wants to see you go mirror, mirror, handbrake down and off you go. You don't want to be too slow here when you get the green light because you could possibly get a grey too for progress at traffic lights. Another mistake I normally see people make here when they're turning left is they go way too wide when they're making the turn. The reason for this is usually when people drive up just at the most important time when they're about to steer they take a big look to the right when they're trying to drive down to the left. So instead of doing it like that do it this way, so once you get the green light, you do your mirror, mirror, handbrake down and off you go. Just before you steer, have your little glance to the right to make sure no one is breaking the lights. But once you're about to steer, look to the left and steer. You have to be looking where you're going to keep good position. Always looking where you're going. So now we're going to talk about the common mistakes I see people make when they're turning right at these T-junctions. Again, the same as turning left. People tend to go way too slow when they get the green light. I think the reason for that is because usually when I'm teaching people junctions, when we see the green light, what we normally do is we sort of mirror, mirror, handbrake down, we roll up to the middle of the junction and we're waiting for the next available gap. If there's no road here, there's no one, there should be nobody stopping you, all right? So, Although the normal way, when we at a normal junction, like a crossroads, we would go up to the middle, we'd wait in the, for the gap. If there's no road, forget about that. You just mirror, mirror, handbrake down, drive up towards the middle of the junction, look to the right and steer. You want to come forward and in on the left on the new road. Try not cut the corner as well. All right? That's another mistake I normally see people make. Always forward, look to the right. And steer. Again, another observation mistake I normally see people make here, which affects their position, is when they go up to the middle of the junction, just as they're about to steer to the right, they take a big look to the left, take their eye completely off the road here, and just means when they steer, they're not looking where they're going. And you could get a mark for observation turn and right, and you could end up getting a mark for position turn and right, because if you're not looking where you're going, you're not going to be able to position the car properly. So always, so what I tell people, the same as the last time, drive up, before you steer, take a little safety glance to the left, make sure there's no sightless or anything breaking the light, but once you're about to steer, look where you're going and steer. Very important, always look on where you're going. Now the worst mistake you can make at these lights is this, all right? So, we're turning right here. We get the green light. We mirror, mirror, handbrake down and go. And when we drive forward, we look to the right and we see a red light here. All right, now just use your imagination here. I couldn't find me red marker. So that purple is a red light, all right? And what people do is they drive up, look to the right and steer, see the red light and stop here in the middle of the junction. You don't want to do that, all right? That's an instant fail. That red light is for days and days, all right? So for this traffic, they're looking at this light, or vice versa, yeah, this traffic is looking at this light, and this traffic is looking at this light, all right? You don't want to drive forward, look to the right, see the red, and stop here. You first of all, you fail your test, and it's also very dangerous, because the car behind you is not expecting you to do that and they could potentially go into the back of you. So that's the worst thing you can do at a junction like that, all right? Uh, so that's it. That's a really important, 
video because I always see people getting marked for progress at traffic lights and I would say that's the main reason why because even in the car with me everyone is too slow doing this type of a junction all right so look at, I hope this explained a few things and yeah if you like the video please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video